Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Axe Ranch. We're in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota here, and as you can see in the background, see if you can see that, we definitely got some leaves coming out finally, you know, which usually happens around the uh, middle of May for us. And uh, also middle of May, it's uh, the opener weekend of fishing season. And you might be able to tell from all the cars going by, it has been a constant convoy of cars all weekend. And you know what? This is exactly the reason why I don't fish on the opening weekend. And haven't fished on the opening weekend for about 25 years. <laughs> I'm going to keep it that way. As you can see, we got a lot of grass coming up, so it's just about time for mowing. Not looking forward to that. So one nice thing about the grass coming up, it gives the bison a whole lot to eat. In fact, we had some really good video of, uh, of uh, us trimming the lawn here and uh, feeding it to the bison, but for some reason my camera didn't work, or rather my phone, I should say. Great picture, no audio. And so there went that idea. So sorry folks, maybe next time. As we talked about before, we've got a couple of projects going on around here, and one of those is to get that wooden fence finished. Gives them a little bit more room, brings them up a little bit closer to us, which we're looking forward to. Also gives us a more uh, secure fence, you know, that we can put the uh, water troughs, and uh, we're going to get an extra feed uh, trough as well, because Thor's a pig. He keeps kicking the young ones off, so we want everybody to have their equal share. We're going to have to get another feed trough, but we don't want to put them up against the electric and uh, wire fences because they're just going to push that right over, right over the fence. And the next thing I know, they're going to be walking around in my backyard and probably into my garage. As you guys may have noticed from some of the previous videos, we got a little bit more progress done on our fence here. A few more rails in, a couple of base rails in. We got uh, a couple more, uh, chickens are going nuts in the background. We got ourselves a couple more posts. Man, posts are expensive. Last year I could get them for uh, maybe eight bucks, a little bit less per post. Cheapest I could find now, 10 bucks a post. So I went out and basically made some. These are nine feet, seven inches long. Perfect for this gap right, right in here. Just the way it worked out. And uh, I mean, it's, it's cheap compared to paying for posts, but there's a lot of labor that goes into uh, just peeling down one, uh, one rail like this. But uh, the woods is full of them. So Kim's trying to get me to cut all the rest of them because we're going to save quite a bit of money doing that. I haven't decided yet, but it might be the route we go. We'll just have to see. <laughs> 